Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alyssa if you don't know me already. So as you just saw by the intro, I'm very excited for the video today because we are redoing a patio, specifically a rental patio. And we have kind of a unique situation, which I'll explain in a second. Pretty much I just moved into this townhouse with my boyfriend and wasn't like obsessed with how it looked outside. And a bunch of boys used to live here, so they did not care. But since I will be living here for probably the next three to five years, I just decided like we might as well put work into making it look nice so that we actually enjoy living where we're living. I do also want to just say right away, this did not happen overnight. It took about three months to get to the point that we're at currently. I didn't really have the budget or the time to just spend all outside on this patio renovation. So like I said, it did take a couple months to do. So keep that in mind if you're trying to do a project similar to this, that not everything is like instant, like you see online all the time. It literally takes months of work. I just want to say right away that we personally did not purchase this fence. My boyfriend's parents did. Um, since they do own this house technically. I'm gonna stop rambling here and just jump into when we started this project about three months ago. This is what the fence looked like to start with and as you can see it's pretty sun faded. There's a lot of weeds kind of surrounding the area and overall we didn't really think this would be a salvageable project just because of the dark color and condition of the wood itself. So currently this is what it looks like. Um, I, like I just said, this fence is kind of like falling apart. <laughs> um, we do live in a townhome, so we have a neighbor on um, like each side of us. These are the plants that we just got. So we're gonna plant these and then my mom actually got me this one for my graduation. And also as the time you're watching this, I just moved all my stuff, so ignore that. <laughs> so we're gonna put these in some pots. And then we got some stuff over here. I got more lights so that we can string them along. <laughs> and then super cute garden stuff down here, so I'm excited for that. When I tell you this yard has a weed problem. Okay, it's a new day, but since we have these bird feeders out here, I figured a couple of days ago it'd be cute to find like a little ceramic birdhouse we can hang it up outside. And I was kind of having issues finding one that I really liked, but then Facebook Marketplace was stalking me and it recommended this really cute bird feeder to me that's from Target. And it's like exactly what I was envisioning. It's a little bit big. As you can see, I figured this would be really cute and I got it for only 10 bucks and then originally I think it was like 30 or 40 bucks. So I'm excited to hang it up. John's hanging up a wire because this is heavy and the string is not that long. It's so cute. Hopefully a bird wants to come move in. At this point, a lot of birds were still not showing up. So I resorted to more bird food. Okay. Honestly, I'm not even sure if we're allowed to have this, but we'll see if that does better. At this point in the patio process, I was just waiting to hear back from John's parents on the fence update and when we thought we'd get it installed. This is what we're going to be planting in there, so I'm going to go ahead and put the dirt in. Okay. I planted peas on one side, cilantro on the other, and then flowers in the middle. I almost forgot to do the alyssums, that would have been so sad. It's quite a few days later and as you can see we are in the process of getting all of this gross mulch out of here and there's a bunch of weeds everywhere too so I've just been using the cutters and getting weeds out and then me and John just started shoveling a bunch of dirt and mulch into the garbage can. <laughs> Thank you. 
I hated doing this because there were so many gross bugs. And so we have like these sections over here done, but there's still a lot around here that we need to do. I did go around with weed killer and spray all the weeds. And as you can see, there's a lot. So we need to go in probably a different day and rip all those up. And these are the flowers that we planted. So as you can see, this one has grew quite a bit since last time I filmed. Same with this one over here. And then I did just go to the farmer's market this weekend with a friend of mine. So we got a jalapeno plant and then this flower I just thought was really pretty. So it's a moonlight candle, midnight candle, I guess. So yeah, we just put that in another pot. We did start getting some little sprouts in here, as you can see. So those are the alyssums. Not seeing anything from the peas yet, I don't think, unless this is it, maybe, I don't know. And then a little bit of cilantro poking through. So that's the update on that. Hey guys, so it's actually quite a bit after starting this video. It is July 15th today and I just came home and our fence is gone. So uh, we're getting actually our new one put in tomorrow. I know it's been like quite a while since I updated you guys last. The fence is just hanging out on the ground over here. While I'm at it, might as well show you guys the updated garden tour. We got the tomato plant and I actually have already picked quite a few tomatoes off of it and it looks like there's a couple more that are pretty much ready to be picked. This is the one my mom gave me um, and this is actually one that you would typically plant in the ground so I might do that after we get the fence all situated. Lettering can. This is my jalapeno plant and look we got some jalapenos growing. This one's actually pretty decent size and then down here pretty big one. We got more flowers. These were from seeds. Um, we got these flowers. Cilantro. Peas did not do very well. That is the area right now. Sorry about how loud it is. I can't turn it off. <laughs> Ew, there's so many ants crawling around everywhere. We're like digging up all the dirt and stuff in the cracks and they're all just like evading everywhere. So we can't get these poles out. I'm so white. Good morning guys. So it's the next day and John has been trying to get all the current poles out of the ground but they're like stuck so don't know how we're gonna go about that um but then I have plans later today so I'm probably gonna have to leave part way through because they were already planned. Our neighbor came over and told us how to like try jack the thing out but it's just cracking the bottom board. Here comes the fence. So this is the day after the fence was installed and I am obsessed with how it looks still. And then we had a family barbecue coming up so we just took the day to get prepped for it pretty much. Hi guys! It is actually July 21st today so a few days since you guys saw that last clip. And I just got back from Target and I honestly just saw a lot of cute things for relatively cheap for the patio that will kind of fit the vibe we already have going on. So first of all, I got this rug for $5, pretty good deal. It just says, hello, that's a good deal. Usually I feel like they're like 25. And then we are doing just kind of like a black and white theme out here. So I decided to just pick up a outdoor rug. Again, I felt like these are usually really expensive everywhere, but this one was only $15. So I know it's not that big, it's four by six feet, but I was thinking if we do get patio furniture, this can be kind of like the center piece of it, if that makes sense. Speaking of which, um, we saw this really cute set on Amazon that I'll put here and it's kind of like a black and white. I really liked that one and pretty cheap. I mean, 130, but I saw the same thing posted on Marketplace for like a hundred dollars. So I'm trying to see if they will let me come pick that up, but I haven't got really reply yet. So I'm very excited for everything to start coming together. It is officially like T minus one week until we're having a little outdoor barbecue. So I really want to get everything in order for then, if that makes sense. And then back here, I did have string lights on it before, but actually, I don't know what's wrong with our outlet, but every time we would plug stuff in, the fuse would just blow out. So those lights are broken. Might bring them back, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. But I saw on Amazon, they have one where there's like a little solar panel thing and then they just turn on when it's dark outside. Right now we just have this little table and these ghetto chairs, but I'm just gonna open this rug and probably just put it under here for now until we get like the bigger patio furniture.
Okay, I know you guys literally just saw me, but we're just gonna go find some furniture for the patio now because those people finally replied to my request about their Facebook ad and someone's already coming to pick it up. Then I also tried to shop around on like cheaper websites, so Amazon obviously, um, and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna buy it. And then it was $40 to ship to my house. And I'm like, bro, let's look at Walmart. Walmart, it would not arrive on time. And Amazon was like, day of slash day after as like the promised time. So we're just gonna go see what we can find now. Let's go to Home Goods or something. Hello guys, it is actually the next day since you saw that last clip and I tried to find some good like furniture for out here, but literally like nowhere has it. So it must be too late. Facebook Marketplace is kind of the only option right now. But in my search, I did go to Walmart last night and I found this really cute little like light that you put in the ground and it is solar powered and it like changes colors. And then we've been out of bird suet for this little feeder thing back here. So I just got two of those. And then <laughs> these lights were in the clearance section and it was indeed open already. So hopefully none of them are broken or anything, but it was only like I want to say like $13 for all of them and these are also solar and this is what it looks like so it's like a crackle ball and I don't think any of them have been used because they all have this orange thing still I think that's all I do and then I just shove it in the ground somewhere I just want to pause right here and say that we did get furniture off a of marketplace. I don't know where the clips went, but it was $70. And the set is originally $450, so what a deal. Always a grasshopper. Catch it. Alright guys, quite a few days later once again. We just went to Big Lots and found these lights on clearance. I am obsessed with finding clearance lights, I guess. But we made sure to get some that are solar so that they don't need to be plugged in because every time I plug lights in, the fuse blows. So we're gonna try these ones. John made some really nice 3D little hooks for us to put them on before his 3D printer broke. <laughs> Hook. Okay, we hung up the lights, but since they're solar and it's kind of dark out, I don't know if they're gonna like charge or not. So we have it all set up and I'll check in with you guys if they work. It works. Since we had a lot of dirt that we had to kind of rake up and shift around, I thought that like there would just be dirt the rest of the year. Oh my God, was I wrong? All of a sudden, like two weeks later, all of these weeds just started popping up everywhere. There was like little trees growing. There was like vines everywhere, little like random flowers. Pretty much any weed you could think of just decided to pop up. So I spent a good chunk of a day kind of like picking those out and figuring out what the plan is. I wasn't sure if I was going to include the fact that that happened in this video, but I just want to keep it really transparent with you guys and show the actual process of what it's like to do this kind of renovation. Just wanted to put that out there, that that is something on my to-do list for next spring is to make sure that I prepare and put down mulch and a tarp and things like that so that weeds do not take over my entire garden. I hope you guys really liked watching this video. Like I said in the beginning, there's obviously so many more things that I would like to add still. Probably an umbrella, maybe getting some like matching chairs. The lights also I think would be cool if they kind of strung back and forth. Um, so we might get another couple 
sets of lights. Hopefully this gave some good inspiration if you're looking to also redo your patio at home. Again, this took forever to do, so don't feel like you need to rush to do yours. If you have any other ideas on what I could add to make this patio even better, make sure to comment them below. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching, and hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!